Don't be shocked, folks, if I were to say that Donald Trump, the US president, may win the November elections yet again, second time. Why? And why the Democrat rival of Trump, Joe Biden, may lose? My explainer follows. I am Rajiv Sharma. There are broadly four reasons why I am saying what I am saying. First of all, the single biggest factor which weighs in favor of Donald Trump and which when it weighs again when it weighs in favor of Trump, obviously it weighs against Biden. That is the China factor, the Russia factor. This is the single biggest factor. Why? Donald Trump has successfully sold this premise that China wants him to be defeated, that Russia wants him to be defeated. And no price is guessing, folks, that in America, China does not enjoy any popularity, neither does Russia. In fact, China is now being increasingly seen by the Americans as the axis of all evil. Given the coronavirus uh, related questions surrounding China. And despite the fact that Donald Trump, his handling of coronavirus pandemic in US has been disastrous. But this China-Russia factor will weigh in his favor. He has imposed crippling sanctions on Russia. He has taken on China in every possible sphere, be it trade, be it visas, be it diplomacy, be it military, be it a virus called coronavirus, which Trump repeatedly calls China virus. So this is the one factor. Biden, on the contrary, Yes, he is, uh, as I said, Trump has sold this premise that powers like China and Russia and many others would want Trump to lose and Biden to win. So it becomes a sort of a nationalistic issue, a question of national pride. Because in the last presidential elections, whatever has happened with regard to the so-called Russian interference in US presidential elections has not gone down well within the American electorate. Reason number two, Trump has successfully polarized the electorate. He is simply seen as a, as, a, as a messiah for the whites. And like Narendra Modi in India, who is a majoritarian uh, politician, Trump in US is also wooing the majority, the whites. So this is another factor, the polarization of US politics, which Trump has successfully conducted. Third reason, the personality of the two candidates. Well, when Trump uh, came to power, he was, uh, he came after Obama. Obama was a young, energetic person and here he was a septuagenarian. So, but who, how old is Biden? 
if Biden is elected to power by the time his installation takes place in January 2021, he will be 78. So, Biden wasn't born yesterday. That is another reason. The personality is the two people, the two rival candidates, they are treated with some certain amount of vibes. They emit some vibes. For example, Trump is widely seen as emitting vibes of feel good. Whereas Biden, like uh, all opposition candidates, they will say this is this is the problem with the US, this is the problem with uh, here is the problem, there is a problem. They will see problem everywhere. everywhere. But Trump brings about the feel good, the feel goodness among the Americans. Also, when you talk about the majority, the, the white versus the black uh, uh, debate, Biden is, uh, his track record is very poor. He has uh, again and again seen as a proponent of uh, certain points, certain policies, which militate against the interests of the blacks. That is the reason, though blacks and Latinos, the two powerful communities in US, they may not vote for Trump, but they may not vote for, they may not vote for Biden and Locke. And also, first of all, they may not come out in the numbers required. That is another problem. That is why Trump and also, you see, yes, Trump has uh, messed up with too many things. But then why his popularity ratings is uh, going up? He is recovering ground. Biden is losing ground. Uh, the states of Michigan and Minnesota, uh, they were, uh, he was uh, leading in a big way, the big margin, that the debt margin has come down. And elections are in November. So, well, this is another reason that this is uh, going to go to the wire. Last point. Now, when you talk about the Latinos and the blacks, you see, as I said, that Biden has a history of uh, taking stands that offend black people. Like, uh, um, you know, his opposition to school busing for uh, racial integration and his support of strong police action against, uh, the, uh, against blacks, particularly against black men. Now, this is uh, an explanation of the third point. The, I come to the fourth and last point. That post uh, riots, the, the recent riots in the US, the Floyd murder case, lynching case, rather, whatever sceneries have been witnessed across the US, say Portland, Kenosha, Chicago. Now, all these images will be entrenched in the minds of Americans, particularly the whites, and they will be fearful that this is anarchy letting loose. So, and I'm sure that once the when it, once it comes to the presidential debates, when uh, during the presidential debates, this will be one of the strongest points of Trump. What was his weakness will turn to be his strength. So folks, I hope you, you have enjoyed this video. Do uh, subscribe to my channel Rajiv Kishkinda in case you haven't so far. Thank you.